from all parts of our vast territory, from all ranks of our army, from uh, every station in life, these pilgrims will assemble to honor the sacrifice and the memory of those who have passed beyond the river, a memory that will abide throughout the ages. That tribute will sink deeply into the hearts of the Canadian people. I am especially grateful, speaking in the name of my fellow countrymen, that you have paid special tribute to those who, whose names will be for all time associated with the place in which we stand today. By their heroic achievements upon the battlefields of France and Flanders, made for our dominion a place amongst the nations of the world. They are now engaged in a struggle for the agricultural and industrial development of their country. We Canadians of French descent are not a little proud of our precedents as pioneers in opening up the lands and rivers of the half continent which has become Canada. As the representative of the USSR, why do you oppose effective inspection? If you have nothing to hide, why hide it? And I think in general that represents the thinking of free men everywhere. The honor I have received today, which is for my country even more than for me, confirms my own desire and my own resolve to do everything I can to maintain and strengthen these good relations with the country which now more than ever that I am a freeman of this city will always be my second home. I believe that it's possible to be at the same time a good Canadian and a good Quebecer, just as it's possible to be a good Canadian and a good Nova Scotian or a good British Columbian. And I will fight to the end against anyone who wants to prevent me from being both. But it can re be rebuilt, but it's going to be a tougher game now than it was even in 1984. How, how, why do you think? Because we're in third place now. We don't have the same recruitment of young people in the ranks of the party. On September 2nd, 1944, as we have just heard so eloquently from John, 20-year-old Lieutenant George Bush was preparing to attack Japanese war installations in the Pacific. He was part of a courageous generation of young Americans who led the charge against overwhelming odds in the historic and bloody battle for supremacy in the Pacific against the colossal military might of Imperial Japan. To be able to manage the politics, you need to address not just the politicians, but also the voters. And it's really important to try and create a constituency for good public policy. And that means having opportunities for people to understand it, to, uh, to learn about policy, and to perhaps be able to express their support for certain initiatives to those who will make the ultimate decisions. Charter is not for the protection of the majority. It is for the protection of the minority. Uh, you know, in politics, your responsibility is not to go on a with gallop. You know, you, you have to they talk about the tyranny of the majority in a society. You, you cannot go that way. You have to look at all the aspects of the problems and make the right decision for the good of the nation. Whether you were for same-sex marriage or not, what you wanted to do was to ensure that same-sex benefits passed, which is why, in fact, the, the government brought in Bill C-23 that Anne McClellan did it, and it passed. And wherever one looked around the world, there was trouble. So it is today. The latest crisis hit, the war, hit as the world was grappling already with enormous challenges. Large current account imbalances, aging populations in advanced countries, violence, terrorism, and of course the eternal problems of poverty and underdevelopment. Ce qui s'est produit hier est une tragédie qui a non seulement choqué le Canada, mais le monde. Donc, avant d'aller plus loin, 
je tiens d'abord à offrir à nouveau mes condoléances les plus sincères aux familles et aux proches qui sont dans le deuil. Je suis, et nous sommes tous, de tout cœur avec vous. What happened yesterday was a tragedy, a tragedy that shocked not only, not only Canada, but the world. Before we go any further, I want to extend once again my most sincere condolences to the families of the victims and their loved ones. I and we are all standing with you.